So I woke up this morning and I realized that it's the middle of March and quarter one's nearly done. <laughs> and as I was reviewing my goals and I was reviewing some of the conversations I'd had lately, I realized that quarter one may not have been as productive as everybody thought it was going to be. Are you better off now? Are you ahead? Are you, I know we all, we all got together in December and said, okay, 2019 is going to be our year. This is the year it happens. This is the year we make all the money, make all the impact, have all the influence and really make a difference in the world. So have you done it? Are you as, are you as a far ahead in your world as you thought you were going to be? I would love, love, love. I, there's such a great big conversation. Good morning, Javine. There's such a longer conversation about how to fix that and how to move your business ahead, how to grow it, how to increase your, your profits, how to increase your influence, and how to really create a rock star brand that does all those things and allows you to, to revel in the genuine thrill of doing what you love to do. However, since I only have a couple minutes with you this morning, I want to give you my three quick and easy, well, not so much easy since you haven't done it yet. <laughs> There's three ways that I think that I can help you in this moment move you forward and, and really start, make sure that 2019 isn't as slow going as quarter one maybe was. So the very first thing I would encourage you to do is take stock of where you are now. Claim where you are now. Get super clear, get super honest about where you are in your business, where the numbers are, where are you spending your time, where are your, where's your pipeline, all those things, all those, all those little check-ins in business, in relationships, in your, in your personal life. Where are you now really? This is not the time for BS. This is not the time to blow smoke. It's one of those things where you can't change where you are and you can't move ahead from where you are to where you want to be until you're super clear and acknowledge and, and claim where you are right now. If, if the story you're telling yourself and the story you're telling people of your current situation is vague and BS, you can't move from there. You can't go back and, and, and say, awesome, we're going to move ahead. And you, and you can't even measure your success properly if you haven't started by being super clear about where you are right now. So own it. Take stock of what are, what are your current core values, not where they were two years ago or even two days ago. Take five minutes this morning and remind yourself of what's important, why you're doing what you're doing, what you're trying to accomplish, what is your vision. Get really super clear about that again. If you were clear about that three months ago, but maybe you've lost something, maybe you've lost track of it, maybe it's changed. Take stock in this moment, today, Thursday morning, where are you now in this moment? That's number one. The second thing I would love to see you do is get super clear about where you want to go. For reals, not the, not the stock surface goal that everybody has. Let's make more money, let's meet more people, blah, 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 right? Let's make a million dollars this year. Awesome. Why? Why do you want to make a million dollars? How are you going to make a million dollars? So get excited about where you're going to go and then draw a line directly from where you are to where you want to go make it as straight as possible. <laughs> That's part of why you have to acknowledge where you are right now. And then you can move forward into where you want to be. Get super clear about that. What kind of money do you want to make? How many people are you going to be talking to? Um, where will you be networking? Where will you be marketing? What is the story that you're going to be sharing? What is the experience you are creating for your idol client? Get excited, get clear about all those things. So it's where you are now and then where you want to go. Get that clarity, write it down, write it down. Oh my holy cow, get it out of your head and onto paper so that it's real, so that it's concrete, so that you can share it, so people can line up behind you to help you create it. The third one, the third one, I have to warn you, I'm, I'm upset about this one. This one, this one gets me going. You have to do something. You have to jump. I have talked to so many people who are, they're going to create amazing things in their business, my friend. They are going to do amazing. And maybe you're one of them. You are going to shake this world to its very core. When? <laughs> when are you going to do that? I, you have to take that first step, right? It's all about the jumping. One of the things that I, that I realized um, about four or five years ago, as I was starting my speaking business and getting going, is I had colleagues who were traveling. They were doing everything I thought I wanted. They were traveling two and three times a month. They were going to all these amazing exotic places. I mean, 
Granted, sometimes it was Detroit, but it was outside of their space and they were going to impact the world and spread their message and share their joy, share their genius. And I'm like, what's wrong with me if I'm not doing that? Like, that's what I want. Why am I not creating that? Why am I not doing that? And my first step to acknowledging that is that's not for me right now. Like make the most of my season, right? I have a small child at home. I can't travel three weekends in a month. And more often, more over than that, I don't want to. I thought I did because I could see what they were creating in their speaking business. I'm like, ah, oh, that's what I want. So clearly I must do what they do. Mm -mm. So my first thing was get clear about where I am right now. I'm a mom. I have a kick butt business that I absolutely love and I get to work with people who are incredible every single day. I'm not a travel three weekends a month kind of a person. So I got to get super honest about where I was. Then I got to get super honest about where I wanted to be. Do I want to be on a different stage every weekend? No, actually not right now. Maybe in five or 10 years, maybe in 20. But in this moment, I don't want that. What I want is several local stages. What I want is to impact people in a real meaningful way. And so my travel plans couldn't be my ultimate vision. What I wanted to create in the world and how I wanted to affect my idle clients had to be my, my true vision. So then drawing a line from where I really was to where I really wanted to be was a much different story than what I had been telling myself for three years. That kind of clarity and that kind of honesty and claiming that has made a huge difference. But the last part of that is really what moved my business forward. It was jumping. It's what landed me on stage with Andy Bell with Eurasia. It's what landed me on stages across the country. It's what's taking me to London in three months. Saying yes to what I really wanted and taking action. You know you're gonna land fine. You know you are, you know your stuff, you've got your business, you know how to build a business, you know all those things. It's about the jump and you've got it. Sometimes it's a leap of faith. Sometimes it's, I've got to, I've got to just trust in my own awesomeness to know it's going to be fine, right? But it's jumping. If it was, if it was certain and if it was easy, it would be called walking. But this is jumping. <laughs> this is jumping into what you said you wanted and taking action to create it. It's making that phone call. It's saying yes saying yes to everything that's important to you. It is saying yes to that program you were excited about but didn't dare take because what if it didn't work? And what if what if it was hard? And what if it was so expensive that, that it, was, it was hard for the first two days? What if, what if, what if? So what? Jump, test it, try it. What if it's amazing? What if it's exactly what's gonna move your business forward? That first step, you. You get to take that first step because then that's what gets you to take the second one. And your second step might not be what you think it is. It, you, you know, they say you make, you make a really great plan and then you do with whatever happens. <laughs> Sometimes you take that first step and it's just a little different. And so even though you thought step two looked like this, step two is completely different. Step two is just slightly to the left. Step two is slip, slightly to the right. And maybe step three gets even further but you won't know until you take step one. You won't know until you jump. You won't know until you say yes. Say yes to something. Say yes to not taking an opportunity, but don't hang on to it. Don't, don't waste your energy and your time thinking, thinking, thinking for the next six months. Maybe I should try that out. Maybe I should, maybe, maybe. Yes or no, jump, jump in, jump out. Now we're in the, all of a sudden we're doing the hokey pokey, right? It's all about being clear about what you, where you are, what you want, and then taking action. You've got to take that first step. You get to take that first step forward. It's what will get you on the path and keep you moving toward your ultimate vision. I would love to support you in that. You know how to get a hold of me. You can drop duet in the comments. You can put jump in the comments and I will reach out to you and we will figure out a way to help you jump. If I can't help you, I probably know someone who can. I've been doing this for 20 years. I know people who can help you. If it's not me, there's somebody. Maybe you, maybe you need some, some assistance in, in just outsourcing. Maybe you need a really great printer. Maybe you need a really great life coach. Maybe you need a really great health coach. I bet I know someone who can help you. Making that phone call and reaching out is that first step. It's jumping. It's claiming what you want and saying yes. So say yes today. Make a difference. 
make the next two weeks of quarter one absolutely unrecognizable from anything you've ever done before. Take that action. Put your money where your mouth is. Really commit. In or out, doesn't matter. Choose in or out and then move forward, right? If you have any issues about getting clear, if you've got so many stories in your head you don't know which direction to take first, call me. I can help you with that. We get to have a conversation that helps you get all that chaos and crazy and stories in your head into clarity and into cash. That's part of what I do. So reach out, connect with me. You could drop duet. You can, you can Facebook uh, message me. You can get me at amber at yourbrandbydesign.com. You can claim your duet directly by going to yourbrandbydesign.com forward slash duet. However you do it, do it and make today amazing. Until then, rock on.